Hi guys, welcome to the studio. My name is Allison Jensen and I'm the owner of Orange Easel School of Art. I'm on here today to talk to you about charcoal. So if you've got a drawer at home that maybe is interested in getting started with charcoal drawing and you don't know where to start because you walk into that school supply store or the art supply store and you go, oh my gosh, there's so much. I'm gonna go over five things that I think should be in every beginner charcoal kit. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is an uncompressed charcoal. So these are actually vines that have been burnt, right? And they have turned into charcoal and you just draw with those. The only ingredient in here is the actual vine. And they come in long strips, but man, this stuff is fragile. So it ends up being about like this and it puts down a very soft and silvery charcoal. It's very good for outlining and rendering and beginning to put in your shadows and values. Vine charcoal is a great way to start. All right, later in the drawing, you're gonna start adding in more depth more darkness and then you need to move into a compressed charcoal so these come in stick form like this it's ground up charcoal that's been added with a binder and then pushed into a stick or pushed into a pencil so both of these i would recommend this one is for our you know some people really prefer the pencil some people really prefer this both can be sharpened to a point although the pencil obviously is a little bit easier to sharpen so these two things are what are going to give you the dark dark, dark areas in your charcoal drawing. So you're gonna need some form of compressed charcoal. I recommend both because this one's good for like large area application and this one maybe a little bit smaller area application, okay? So, so far we have up to three, right? Let's get the last two. Last two things that I would recommend you need. These are blending sticks and they are made out of paper. They look like pencils in different sizes, but they aren't and they're used to blend that charcoal together. Same way you would blend it with your finger, except you don't have to. Your finger isn't pointed, so it can't always get into those little teeny tiny spots where this can. So these are great and they're really inexpensive. They're called blending sticks or tortillions or who knows. All right, so look for those. They're gonna be in a lot of your charcoal kits. And the very last thing that I would recommend you get is this thing called a kneaded eraser. It looks like this when you first buy it, kind of like a piece of chiclet gum. And then after you unwrap it and you start using it, it ends up looking like this, kind of like a piece of chewed up gum. So the, the kneaded eraser is a really fun tool and it's what we recommend with charcoal versus something like this kind of eraser. The kneaded eraser is just like it sounds like. You pull it, you knead it upon itself, that's how it cleans it. So if you have an area that's really dark and you've used it a lot, you knead it on itself until you don't see that anymore and you find a clean spot. And then you can shape it into any point that you want. So if you're trying to get into a small little area, you just you shape it into that point and then that's what you use. All right? So this is how we dig out those lighter areas, that negative space of our drawing after it gets a little bit too dark. Because charcoal is one of those mediums that we work back and forth. We work dark and then we work light, we work dark and we work light. Rather than applying something white, we dig out our paper with our eraser. If you're interested in charcoal classes and you want to learn how to draw with charcoal, we'd love to have you. Adults, I have a free drawing class on Monday nights just for you where we use all sorts of charcoal. 7 to 9 p.m., absolutely free. Check our website under adults for that. My kiddos who want to learn charcoal, September is your month. Get enrolled in classes because that's what we're doing all month long. I'll talk to you soon.